with great power comes great responsibility is an appropriate statement for a minister of the gospel of Christ, a preacher of Jesus. It's a great statement for them. When you are someone that is representing the Most High God, when you are someone who is representing Christ, that is a responsibility not to be taken lightly because you are representing the highest of the highs, the best of the best. You're representing God Almighty, Almighty, not half mighty. You're representing love, you're representing light, you're representing good, pure good, pure love, pure light. And that is a big thing. And when you are a minister and people tithe to you or they make offerings, well, I mean, they're you being the means by which they tithe to God and by which they offer make offerings to God, when your ministry is the method by which they use to do that, then you are held accountable for what happens to the money that they give you because it's not your money it's God's money it is money to the ministry and to have for the ministry to grow but it is not some light thing that you just oh well we wanted to do this so we're going to do this it it takes <laughs> a keen discernment to do that properly to truly hearken on to the voice of God that when you are given money, that it be used for its designated purpose and not for, or not misused, not used for something else. And it's like, oh, well, it, no, it, there's no oh welling. It's just you use it for what God has it there for. You don't use it for anything but what God has it there for because your number one contributor to your church building, your body of Christ, Whatever you have, whether it's an online thing or a building in person, your number one contributor is the Almighty God, is God Almighty. That is your biggest backer. That is the one who's providing you funding to where you will not fail. It's not the congregation. The congregation may be use, being used as vessels, but ultimately... It's God. God is the one who's your biggest contributor, not the people. Because God is who gets the people to that place. I mean, people have a choice, yes. God is the... God is involved in motivating that choice. And you may have someone who rides by your church one day, never been there before, and they just go inside because... They were told the Lord, go inside and drop $10,000, that sort of thing. Or, you know, like go to the welcome center, just give a $10,000 check, that sort of thing. $10,000 cash, whatever with that. But the idea be that with great power comes great responsibility. And although that, that I know of it, that's just a, that comes from a Spider-Man quote, it applies. Because... God does have great power, and then those who are to use the power of God, they have great responsibility. When you're doing miracles, and when you are um, being used as a vessel of God to perform miracles in His name, and to have to store money for Him in His name, to keep track of His money, and use it for His purposes, that's a big responsibility. To keep yourself holy so that you can act in the role of a bishop and have that high office of being blameless instead of coveting after things and well if you're a man chasing women and if you're a woman chasing men and if you're in the other direction chasing uh, beasts or 
just abominable ways. So, yeah, it's a big responsibility to do that. And that's the whole point of this being talked about. And that, that, that's, well, that's the, the conclusion of this whole thing. It's not your burden to bear. You're just being used by God, that's all. It's like when your father or mother tells you, or like when you're, when you're at a gas station and your father tells you to go inside, give them this mo give them this this money, and tell them this pump, that this uh, this gas pump. <laughs> you have been given the authority to do that by your father, and when Jesus gives you the authority to preach in His name, He's the one who's it's it's His authority. It's you are doing that under his authority. You're not doing that under your authority. So, it doesn't matter if this church likes you or that church likes you. And it doesn't matter what they think of you. What matters is when you get in behind somebody's pulpit or something to that effect, when you are preaching in the name of God, recognize that big as a responsibility as that is to perform, well, what the Bible says, it's not all on you. And what I mean by that is, you're doing that in the name of somebody else, not in the name of you. And when you keep in mind that you are doing it because God got you, because God asked you to, then, well, you just do what God tells you to do. And that makes things so much easier than if you got up there thinking, well, I've got to fulfill this quota, I've got to fulfill that quota. It's not about fulfilling quotas, it's about, or fulfilling doctrines, it's about fulfilling what God has called you to do, and he will not leave you hanging, not allowing you to know what you should, be. think not what shall you speak, because God will give you what you shall speak in the time appointed.